Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about list box control in CSO.NET Windows form. So here let's go to toolbox and here search list box and here get to list box so about to list box display a list from which the user can or select the items. So let's drag list box at here. So this is so uh, list box so here i need to do list uh, list box so here i'm going to show you one example of a uh, list box so here next i'm going to click on form load event so at here going to write list box one so to add the items we need to use items and here these are items so get the items of the list box and here we need to write add method. So add here I am going to add first month. So here after this box one dot items dot so this term going to add year. Now here after let's go to font designer. Double click on list box one and uh, here. So first I am going to clear list box 2, whatever in the list box 2. So first to add to clear the list box 2 by using clear method. And hereafter writing if a statement. So if a statement list box 1 dot to selected item selected items double equal to here so list box uh, selected items are first is month second year so i'm going to compare with month if that to match with month so add uh, in list box two i'm going to add the items so here add method. So here I'm going to add January. So Jan. And here let's copy this line and paste it down Jan, Fab, March. So add I'm going to write Jan next Fab. Here after March, here after. So this four month I added. Now here after let's write add here as a part. And in as a part here list box one. Dot to selected item. So this time selected item is for year. So matching with year. So if that condition true, then here I'm going to add the items in list box so two. So first to year 2017, 2018, 2019. And here 2021. So this is the code to add the items in list box one and list box two. So let's execute the code. So if I select add here month, so month here, so in list box one, so that is showing month. So this is a list box one, list box two. If I select list box one month, so that display in list box two for this all month because at here I used list box two items at Jan for March April. So if I select year, so that or display this year. So if in form load event, I've uh, added items in list box one month and year. So if a uh, selected item, so this match with month, so whatever month related, so that 
or if that things are true so that go inside so that add here in list box to this items jan five march so suppose if uh, that not match with month so here that match with year so list box one that match with year so year equal to year condition true so that go inside so in list box to that items that add so this is the one way to add the items in the list box now hereafter i'm going to show you another way to add items so here i'm going to write list box so this way i'm going to add the items by importing from the database so let's let's click on arrow hereafter use bond so here i'm using sql server so you can use sql server oracle mysql database any one so this is the items in the or table and uh, this is the records in the table and this is the table name tab here this is the database name sam so here let's uh, click on arrow here after selected value so click there add project source database here after data set here so if you want to click uh, new connection then you can click here so this is the fetching or server name if that does not to display so you need to do one thing here let's copy this and uh, paste it here so inside my database is in sam my database is sam so for test connection it's fine now here after click new new so here we need to select the table because at your this my table table the name is tab and uh, here after let's click on finish so here this is the things as now so selected value i selected id and here after i'm going to data source for so data source and here some tab and here after in tab you get to uh, this so here i'm going to here or uh, this is the display member so this or uh, display the into the list box display member and value member i'm going to use dpt number so let's execute the code so display member here ram sunny sam so because at here in name so this is the thing so that here in list box this is the display or they are or sunny this thing so this is the second way to or display items in list box so here after so if you want to see the add query so here so this is the execute query and here this is the items in the execute query now here after this is about query and uh, here after you going to see the preview records so for preview records let's go and here preview records so this is the records inside the database or table and here after i'm going to show you one more method to display the items in list box so search one more time list box and here click arrow here edit item so add here enter the string in the collection one per line so here you can write one two three a b c so this all consider as a string so this is the item i added into the list box for and let's execute So see, this item is so uh, displaying. So this item is or uh, directly I added. So this item from database and this items from by writing the code. Now here after uh, let's see some properties of list box. So here this is a uh, sorted items. You can sort the items by selecting. So this is by default or uh, uh, false. so see at here it's so sorted 
one two three first and one three four five. So this is the item in this sorted format. So if you want, then here you change the name. Here you can lock the list box, so you can't move anywhere because it's locked. Here you can move the list box to anywhere. And here public, private, uh, protected. This is the modifier. And here after dog. So about the dog, you can um make the list box anywhere. Like here, you can display in big or right. So I'm not going to select. So I'm going to select the dog for uh, text box or oh, sorry list box for. So this is here. So you can move anywhere. Select like uh, a full form here. You can move that off down. So this is a down. So this is the properties of list box. You can select anyone according to your requirement. And here, this is the event inside the list box. Mouse movement here, selected change, click. So, this is about the list box control in CSO.net Windows form. So, I hope that this video is helpful for you. So, now in this video, it's over. So, thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.